What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about the Talon Tactical 1.5 inch gun belt. And this actually uses the Cobra buckle, they also make another one that doesn't utilize a Cobra buckle. But this one uses a Cobra buckle, I'm a fan of the Cobra buckle and that's why I have that one, or this one. And uh, what I want to talk to you today about is this belt. It's pretty unique in the fact of what they're actually using to make it. Uh, it's 1.5 inches and uh, made in the USA, you can see here right there and um, this is a really nice belt as far as an everyday belt uh, I've been using it for a few months now and uh, I really like it it's one of my favorite belts. it's made extremely well and I think it's competitively priced around $60 and I think that's the thing that's gonna stick out the most once you uh, you know if you were to purchase one of these is you know how well it is constructed you can see all the bar tacks and everything are exceptionally you know well done so this is a 36 and I'll talk to you about the sizing a little bit uh, a 36 he gives you two inches of adjustment and that means one inch either way so this is a 36 which means that it'll go down to 35 it'll go up to 37 um, so that's perfect for me because I'm of like a I'm like a 35, 36 usually in my pant size, um, so it's perfect for me. Uh, you can see all the uh, stitch, stitch work that's done here, and uh, it's just a really good belt. I've been wearing it pretty much exclusively for, uh, like I said, the last few months. Now the really cool thing is actually the webbing that's used, because um, I got this and it's rather, you know, when you get something like, say, you know, I've reviewed in the past uh, this Boxer Tactical, which actually has a Kydex insert, you can see over time, you know, it's going to wear down a little bit, um, but it's still, you know, stiff. And I have a review on that one, but this one was stiff, and it doesn't have, um, it doesn't have that, you know, Kydex insert. So I, through talking with him, you know, what he said was he actually worked, I think, for a year to uh, perfect this webbing, um, as far as getting it, you know, strengthened and thread and everything. Um, and it's actually custom-made webbing, um, so you're not really going to see that from anywhere else. Um, and that's the secret sauce. I'm not really going to talk too much about it because I don't know if I'm supposed to. But, um, you know, as you ask him about, hey, you know, I got this and it definitely is robust as far as the uh, stiffness goes, but there's nothing as, as far as an insert goes. So that's the one thing he told me that there is a, uh, you know, it's custom made webbing for him. Um, and he worked about a year to get that perfected to where he wanted it. And I got to say, it is uh, definitely stiff. Um, you know, when you're wearing, I've done inside the waistband, I've done outside the waistband, and uh, you know, it definitely is robust as far as the stiffness goes. You don't have any issues whatsoever when it comes to uh, drawing uh, your, your gun, you know, drawing magazines, etc. So it's definitely one thing that's definitely cool. Custom made webbing uh, is what's used for this. So let's go ahead and take a look uh, a little bit closer as far as the construction goes. I'll just go down the line here. You can see just how well made this is. A lot of thread work that goes into this compared to some others on the market, that's gonna add to the stiffness a little bit because um, that's definitely part of the secret sauce, I believe. And you can just see a lot of threading going on and good bar tacks and uh, just exceptional work overall. I'm really pleased with this belt. Um, I like the color a lot. It's uh, marine brown and uh, it's definitely a unique color. You don't see uh, that color elsewhere. Let me grab this other belt here. This is what's called Coyote, and this is from 215 gear. And uh, you can see that from Coyote, it's just a little bit darker. Um, so definitely like it, and comes with the uh, Coyote buckle. He has two other colors that are available. Um, I forget what they are off the hand. I think it's black and uh, like foliage or green of some sort. You have to go and take a look at the website. The thing that I was kind of leery of up front was the website's somewhat um, limited on in the information that it gives you and there isn't any super detailed pictures so hopefully this review will get out there to, uh, to you guys to kind of show you a little up close on what this belt looks like, what it's given you as far as performance. I gotta tell you over the years I've reviewed a lot of belts, Boxer Tactical, um, 215 gear, cross tack. Um, I've used a lot of different belts in the industry, you know, Grey Ghost gear. What I've come to the conclusion of is this is an exceptional belt. Um, it definitely is unique. The, all the other belts I have, they don't have this feel to them as far as the webbing goes. Um, and for an everyday belt, one and a half inches, um, I don't think you'll find a better belt out there. I think you might find something that might come close to this, but as far as better than this belt, you know, it's just simple. It's a simple design as far as, you know, you get two inches of, of play. Um, and you know, I really enjoy it. You know, in my reviews, I try to be critical and with, with this belt, you know, with everything that it is, I haven't had any problems whatsoever. It's done everything I've wanted it to do and, and put it through. And you know, the only thing I could say is I wish they'd have a one and three quarter inch belt. 
they only make this one and a half inch belt and it's probably because you know I mean he said it would be more expensive to make obviously but the one thing they try to do is cater to you know kydex holsters and uh, concealed carry etc so that's why he's keeping it in the one and a half inch game but I really would like to see a, a one and three quarters so I could uh, outfit some other stuff that I have that's not everyday carry or, or concealed carry so that's one thing I, I'd like to see not sure if you do it but as far as this belt goes this belt is bomb proof it's definitely one of my favorites uh, for many different reasons sturdy and I think $60 as a price tag is uh, is a very good price tag and very competitive in the marketplace so if you guys are looking for a good gun belt that's gonna last a long time it's gonna be nice and stiff uh, but not too stiff but it definitely does have stiffness so it doesn't roll over etc uh, I would definitely take a look at the uh, you know belt here from Talon Tactical been using it for a few months and I've really been impressed with it so if you guys have any questions or anything go ahead and let me know if you guys have used the Talon Tactical belt uh, or anything from Talon Tactical go ahead and put it down in the uh, comments down below or better yet make a video about it and until next time later um, you know from Boxer Tactical to 215 gear um, to um, what's the other one I reviewed 